Next up, we have a very interesting founder. Alfred is somebody who inspires me every single day. And dare I say, he's one of the youngest founders I've ever coached in my life. At 85, Alfred's taking a big step into entrepreneurship, but it's super exciting and you'll see why. Here's Alfred Zerfis with Sing With Fred. Imagine, imagine all those people. Imagine your elders who are going to be 85 or more at some time. What people you know? You know they have a third of a chance of becoming demented, and it's a huge cost to Australia. Almost 30 billion dollars in care costs, uh, and 170 thousand uh, people uh, over 85 have dementia of some sort. So that's what's the solution? Well, one solution is prevention. And being a, a doctor of epidemiology, uh, I've been working in prevention all my life, and I think it's time we had a fresh look at dementia. And the prevention is to stimulate memory and social contact. And I'll give you a story about my best friend, uh, who was in a nursing home, demented, and I asked the person in charge what I do, he said, talk about the old times. So I did that. And he was clung, sitting on the table doing nothing. When I mentioned about the times we had in London, some people, he jumped up and started eating. So that's the basis of my, uh, my company, Sing With Fred. It started off actually singing. Oh, this, there's me, with the, the first group, actually. In fact, I met 12 of them at lunch today. So I got a verbal okay, but not, not a survey. Uh, one was a, uh, runs, uh, uh, is on the uh, company of a care home, uh, uh, one of the chairs. Anyway, this started with singing, and I had some Zooms about a year ago, but I realized, and I congratulate RMIT and the judges in six weeks, because they said, look, it's great, but you're not going anywhere. And then my best friend, and my mentor suggested an app. So I figured it's not just the singing that's important, it's the connection. And in, my, in the case of my friend, I didn't have to sing to him. It was just the visual connection to audio. So basically, Sing With Fred has, has, con, has continued to be all types of entry points, uh, all five senses, even the crunch of your foot on your ears can be back and up your memory. So I'm bringing all those five senses, but only one transmission, audio. Because if you go down the street, you see everyone, what are they doing on their phones? Uh, they're listening or talking. So the audio is going to be stored. Uh, and when they're fresh, and there'll be help from their grandkids and the rest of the family. So they store the audio of their particular memory that meant something to them. And I've just, uh, we've designed an app. Uh, uh, there's a VA from Philippines, my bar man, uh, and he's charging about 10 bucks an hour. Uh, this is good. <laughs> and he got this up in a couple of weeks. So I think he did pretty well. And I'm going to continue with that. So um, it's really getting the input of the memory and getting back the recall. So at a time when they've forgotten about the memory, the family can help them get the recall back. So it will help prevent dementia or allay dementia when it starts. So that's the whole plan. And uh, look, you can rely on me because I deliver. That's the countries I've worked around the world for UNICEF and other agencies. And I've lectured at five universities. Uh, and uh, it, uh, it's in an early phase, I must admit, that I deliver. Uh, the, uh, the, um, the, where I am in terms of uh, customer satisfaction, I have to say it's a weakness at the moment. I've just got it verbally from all my contacts, but I'm a member of about 20 or 30 Facebook groups, and I attend the Tony Robbins talks and other things as well, so I'm going to use that. The roadmap will be a, a gradual development over time, and the revenue will not start coming in probably for at least a year. But I'm, I'm willing to be patient about that. 
and I'm willing to contribute 50% of the costs because I think it's so important. So thank you very much, RMIT. Thanks, everyone, and good luck to all of you. Thanks so much, Freddie. What a beautiful um, problem to solve and a story to, to solve. Yeah. Um, my, my question is around just understanding a little bit better how to use the app, and specifically, um, where does the content come from for uh, okay. my memories? I'll give you, a, I had an example, but I think I've time. Uh, I've got a song, um, where can I go? Ooh, is there no place I can see? It's on a golf course with my mother and my stepfather. Uh, and it was related to the Holocaust in the diaspora. So it reinforced my feeling of being Jewish, and it made me feel good. So the code goes into the app. It would be golf one, pants one. So any other golf game I have would be with another person. Any other golf game with pants would be hands two. Any other subject would be headed by that. But we're working it out as we go along. And the important thing is that I'm I'm quite happy about sharing my app with other people. My competition will be collaborators, and there's a huge study going on at Melbourne University with uh, uh, Felicity Baker on this same subject. So I'm willing to uh, contact everyone I can. Amazing, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thank you again so much. i um, interested because my Nana has early onset, not early onset because she's my Nana, so I guess she's, her time has come where she uh, is starting to get dementia, so I absolutely love the idea, it's fantastic. I guess I'm just interested in, uh, as you mentioned at the start, that to help break out of um, dementia and bring back memories and, and whatnot, that keeping the brain active and the stimulus is advisable. So I'm just wondering, is there sort of science behind where just the audio cues are enough to slow it down or bring memory? Back? 